hey my friend yesterday I was so excited about setting up my new chatbot and today I thought I'm going to show you how to set it up so if you have a blog like this right you got a blog and you want to have something that pops up and tells asks people if they want to get on your list if they want to buy something from you you can just have it like this where it pops up like that just like that it'll just show up and then it starts a conversation with them they can click on buttons sure I want to find out about this and then it, it get, and it always ask them for the email or even you might want to have a pop-up an exit pop-up when they leave your site that goes like that and says hey wait don't go anywhere so this is super awesome I'm so excited that I got that set up and you can have it like that too you can have an exit pop-up you can have a, a conversation pot you can have all sorts of different things we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so how do you add a chatbot to a web page I mean there's probably a bunch of different ways but I found one that I really love and I'm going to show you how to do it right now I'm going to show you how to add it to a blog site let me just share my screen here and you can see right over here that this is my blog right it's uh, you've seen it before I'm sure lots of times right and over here there's a chatbot that's up here that's showing me a conversation I just had that I just kind of did and I can go in here and I can say yes that sounds interesting and then after that it asks for an email I just put an email in there and it'll send me and subscribe me right away to that list I don't have to the person doesn't have to worry about going and clicking on these other links you have sure those still work but you can have a bot that makes it interactive you can even make it ask questions you can make it super a lot more awesome than than just this but anyways we're going to show you how to set it up on your blog how does that work and there are a couple other things because yesterday when I first got this bot I thought it was awesome to show you a real live me just the first time going in and trying to figure out how to use it and it really wasn't that hard for me to do that might be because I've experienced with mini chat but it's really not that hard to do either even if you uh, haven't done it's pretty simple to set up all right so let's go take a look at that first of all the conversion bot the conversio bot conversio bot conversio bot right um is a uh, well it's a there they have different plans and whatever but there's going to be a link down below with how to get this bot yourself obviously it's got an affiliate program an amazing affiliate program you can even be part of that actually I'm gonna can I is there where is that link I have that link too let me just show you that if you're interested in that too you might want to know about their affiliate program I'm just going to go I know I have it someplace else right here possibly no not here I got another uh maybe over here no that's not it either I'm just looking for the original uh maybe it's let's just go in here history um, whoops uh, yeah let's just search for uh affiliate okay let me just go into my actually I'm gonna find it right here sorry I should have looked that up obviously before uh but it's in here I have it here let me see right over here there we go let's go look at that there we go all right so conversio let's just show you right here on the screen here so conversio bot is a um an affiliate program as well so it's through a clickbank and you can get all these all this um it anyways it's very well done so definitely I want I'm promoting it but that's not the point of this I just wanted to show you that there was an affiliate program if you want that you can get up to 95 percent commission it's totally insane but anyways right now I'm just going to show you how to use it how to set it up how to create a bot and how to add it to your page so we're going to go in here first of all on your dashboard you'll be able to see the bots you already have 
and we're going to be able to uh, set up a new bot let me just uh, scroll here see where here it says my bots right there it says my bots right over here I got these two bots right now that I set up yesterday I'm just going to set up a, a, the other thing oh here's the other thing there's really lots of cool stuff in this bot it's really insane there's templates so these templates you basically can use these templates to see the ones that are locked there's some that are unlocked say I want to create a lead generation uh bot so let me just go and get a lead there's a lead one right here get leads so with social sharing let's say I use this I want to I want to use this template I'm just click on use template now I have proceed to use this template whoops I'll show you that it's on the screen right there it's asking me if I want to use it I say yes and it's going to create a new template so now I have now it's going to the, the this is the template so this is what it looks like starts off with this um, I'm going to rename this um, to uh, there's a place where you under settings anyways so this here is just basic anytime any of these I can just click on them I can I can see what it says you can actually add more multiple things you can add images um, and things like that look um, so yeah so you create the bot first like this and can you spare a few minutes for a chat that's going to be saying that then it goes on one side is yes the other side is no or actually it's depending on the uh, event events if I go back to this one I can show you right here under user responses button so if I look on user response let's move that a little bit oops move that a little bit here okay so user response says buttons right there if I click on this it shows me what they are right so yes and no so the first one is yes the second one is no so now I know that when I look at this box here I know that the first one is yes the second one is no right so under this there's a yes yes I have time to chat right so the bus message is going to say thank you and welcome to our site my name is robobot what's your name right so then in here it says user response text which means if I look at it it's basically going to ask for their full name and then uh, and then validation I guess it uh full name that's interesting oh yeah that's just my my screen was weird and then continue if I save that so basically it's going to ask the person for their name and then it's going to ask them to like your stuff so that's good to hear it's always nice when your work is appreciated would you like to see more content like this and then it's going to say again buttons yes or no and let's just save that so I, that's really that's you know it's really straightforward right so then it asks for the email over here it says okay bot full name see how it uses the person's name they put it in at the beginning uses the person's name and then please enter your email address we'll send you our latest content and offers don't worry keep your details confidential user response is here is going to be their email address whoops I gotta click down here email address right and then that saves it then over here basically what happens is these steps cause the person to enter their name and enter their email if they don't if they don't like it they don't if they say no over here right you go back to well I understand I, life is see how you see there's an image there right that image is going to show up in the chat and but before you go we'd like to keep a date and exclusive offers and you know right so it asks them again for their for, if they want to say yes or no here again if they say yes sure you know then you get their email again and then the share thing here is uh what is that share thing here so this will be thank you please feel your share of this page if you think someone will be useful simply click the share button below and use a response there's no input uh what is that no input oh there must be a I don't know I haven't seen that before how does that work share end ah, okay and this is the share ah, okay well that just means there's I guess it, it's assuming that there's a share button on the page to share the page right you just ask them to share it this other one here shows no problem thank you for your time have a good day good day and so okay so now that you've got your bot organized you got the messages organized you got the sequence organized you got the text organized you can do all that yourself you can create 
a bunch of questions you can ask them different things you can you can show them the schedules you can like I said like you can see in here if I go back to the dashboard you can see in here that there's a bunch of uh sorry in the templates right there's a bunch of different templates that you that you can start with the ones that are unlocked right there's a card discount there's a contact us that's there whoops you can't even see that right why can't you see that oh that's because I got it like this okay so there's a contact us right here there's a conversion bot zoo conversion bot uh, cb I don't know what that means or oh, click bank I guess then there's a customer service getting a problem right resolve that kind of stuff um exit offer discount there's all these different things that you can you can do that's part of the basic package right the, then if you want to open up these other ones like say if I click on one of these if I say use template it's going to tell me I got to upgrade right so it's going to tell me the upgrade over here congratulations you made a great decision on behalf of the entire Convergio bot team welcome to our inner circle you're a few clicks away from exploiting new AI technology used by huge companies like Facebook Spotify Starbucks Staples and so many others. you can get all those all these all these different templates just by spending that extra few bucks right depending on what you're trying to do now because the other thing is with this bot you can actually do it for others right you can charge people to create a bot for their site but that's beside the point okay so now let me see so now that we have um our bot let's go back to my bot I have the bot right I go back to this bot uh, edit the bot um anyways and once you're done the bot up top there's a there's a launch and a and a preview right you can say next as well because there's design in the design it's really cool because you can change like everything you can change the background color to uh let's say uh, instead of white I want it to be like you know maybe a little bit of a no that's not uh, like a very light let's say a light yellow a light blue I mean like this uh, all right and then I want to change the message bubble the shape is either default or shape one or shape two uh, shape three right uh, let's do that then the bot message is going to be message text you can change the color of the bot message to something else like this it's going to be red text or let's say some blue text all right and then the sub message text user text the bot design you can even change the bot to be a, a different image right whatever image you want you can use different images and you can even add your own like that's one thing I did right under add you can go and say I want to make this I've already uploaded so I'm just going to say uh, gallery there's already one here which is the one here and I'm going to just say this and then it uses that it, it'll use that bot as my bot where did it not work hold on let me see gallery this guy continue oh there it is it's right there see so now I've got oh that's because I was up there as you can see right now there the the bot is going to be this bot my own image instead of you know whatever I can do this like this I can then I save it now I can click on the settings or I just say next right It'll, and then depending on uh, because I have the extreme features I have additional things I can set a domain URL I can change the title to uh, get subscribe subscribers uh, doesn't really matter uh, the bot name is going to be get subscribers I'm going to save that so that's just the settings right so setting it up and all that now when I want to publish it if I click on next here or I click on publish it will take me to that um this is going to be the link to a full page bot and if I go back to the bot code I can do this I can have a a, a bot code right over here uh embedded bot and then preview an external site this feature allows to preview the bot on an external way it might be useful to send uh, to express to illustrate how the bot would function on their website 
oh that's cool okay let's see if I do this http um snapexec.com let me see if that I click on preview here is it oh that's very cool so that's one of my websites and it shows me the bot down there right that's the bot I have here it's going to say hey what's going on whoops let's move it I should have so that is very cool because it lets me show a potential customer what the bot would look like right so there's uh, anyways it's loading up now I guess it's uh, busy so that would show the any website you can send them a link and you send them this link so you can't see it right there let's move that in the background that link right there right you can send them this link over here to your customer and it'll show them what the bot would look like on their site and that's kind of cool right all right so let's just go back to here all right so now how do you add that to say I have my blog right here and I want to change my bot to this other bot all I got to do is I go into my dashboard of my wordpress <coughs> sorry I go to the dashboard there and then I go into well first of all you have to have a plugin for a header <coughs> so I've got a plugin here in my case I have a headers and footers I'm going to actually update that right now so this one here is the headers and footers plugin once you install and activate that under settings can I see that no go back here so once you activate this headers and footers or there's other plugins of course you could use there they have their own plugin too if we look at their they have a plugin right here wordpress plugin that I could install I'm gonna actually gonna try that let's do that let's install it I'm gonna download it download it there <coughs> and let's see let me see let's go okay so if I that now I've got it downloaded let's just install it if I upload a new plugin upload a plugin choose a file my downloads what do I have here my downloads yeah so the downloads I just go select the conversion bot here and I upload it install now I've never actually done this in, in WordPress install a plugin that's external unpacking that that, that looks good activate it and then let's see what uh, how that works conversion bot now I have a conversion bot here I can choose pages on which this shows up if you don't have a conversion bot click here to register just build your conversion bot advanced dragon builder yep copy the bot id and paste it here oh that's pretty cool so I can actually have a different bot on different pages that's very cool so that would mean I could have the default bot for example if I go back to my bot here <coughs> uh, if I go back to my bots my bots my bots and I want this to be my default bot so I'm going to go in here uh, settings <coughs> and there's a bot id somewhere oh yeah so that's another thing there's uh, these delayed time in seconds before it shows up delayed bot uh open auto open one time only open bot on cursor hover uh, open bot on exit hover select template for exit bot so in this case I have a different I'd have a different exit bot 
delayed exit bot I'm not sure that's automatically open your exit chat bot when your visitor lands on your page disable widget disable widget chat bot when you need exit chat bot only okay I'm not sure I still have lots to learn there's training there's a bunch of training I'm just looking here to see what the bot ID is where's the bot ID maybe that's the number up here in my url there must be a place where they have the well maybe it's under publish there you go uh, this bot that's the bot right here probably that's the bot id that that last part of it oh there it is it's right here copy the clipboard oh that's simple enough if I go back in here I put this as the default and then uh let's say I want to have so that would mean I could have a different bot on different pages like contact I could have for example this uh this other one let's go back to my bots my so I think it did work my bots if I go back to my get subscribers one under publish there is the bot id for this one I'm going to copy that one I'm going to put that here and then I'm going to save that so now I already did that in the bot so I'm going to go in my plugins over here under my headers and I'm going to remove the bot code that I put in because I don't want the bot code to overwrite whatever that other plugin is doing so let's just do that so now I have my bot on this so if I reload this page the home page it's going to show me this bot right the original bot that what that I did the default bot the one I did yesterday and it just has asked if they want to join my thing now if I go to my contact let's say I close this and I go to contact now this bot should be a different bot I'm pretty sure let's see there you go yeah so that's the different bot that's the bot that is the new one I did with the blue background right so that's so that's how you do it on the wordpress blog now what about what about any other website like if I I don't know if I do I have another website that I can show you really easily um if I have a website like say I okay let's go to click ecourse debug uh, if I go to my click ecourse this is the debug site so if I go here and I want to add a bot to this what I need to do is I go to the code if you have a developer obviously building a website you're going to want to do this like this so I'm going to go back to the bots I'm going to create a new bot and I'm going to create a bot called click ecourse I'm just going to call it click ecourse so let's do it together real quick right a really quick one I'm going to add a block this block is is going to be uh this is going to be welcome <coughs> welcome welcome to click ecourse website okay and then I add another text I want to say um how can I help you and then I'm going to have user response I'm going to say number one it's going to be buttons I'm going to say um, uh, how to create course and then I'm going to add another one I'm going to say um, <coughs> how to uh, access course and then I'm going to add another one which will be um, uh, other question other question or problem 
okay so whoops so now I've got I'm going to have a bot that's going to have three different options and I'm going to save that so number one I'm going to create a new block that's going to be number one is going to be how to set up a course I'm going to say oh that's not it okay I'm going to add another block this is going to be this is going to be the block where they um create a course okay okay great you so you want to create a course that's awesome <clears throat> first whoops first you'll need to register an account I'm going to add something here um so go to slash https slash slash click ecourse com I wonder if that would work for but I don't know if it'll support JavaScript in here but I could if I'm because I'm the program of the site so I know how to kind of do things but I'm just going to say this like this uh actually just uh click the whoops click the link above that says register okay I'm going to just save that that says register I'm gonna add a button here I'm gonna say okay done and then I'm gonna say can't find it find it there you go continue okay so now I'm gonna save that so this is create course and over here they said at let's just add another block that's going to be now they've so registered perfect now you can go to the course page and click your course So I'm not gonna do anymore I just want to show you the the box so now they're registered so let's just connect this to here and let's connect this one to here whoops just go like this right I connect them so now they're connected uh let's do another one uh let's make this uh that what was it that I had here I I this is something probably you should take notes and write it down right I gotta go back to here and I gotta look at what do I have need to access a course all right need to access a course course access let's say course access so I'm just gonna do that for now because I want to remember and then other question other question and then I'm going to say okay let's get you before uh you before can I can I get your name here's a response I'm going to have text in here it's going to be the type is going to be their name and allow them to skip it that's fine and then save it this is this one here right and this one here is this one to access a course you should have gotten a link I'm just going to save that like that 
and that's it I'm not going to do okay so now I've got my 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 bot it's saved I'm just going to go on next which is the design part which we're just going to skip we're just going to leave it like this and under settings again it's just a bot so now I I'm all good I don't want to I don't want to do any of that I'm just going to leave it as is and then I'm going to say next I'm going to launch it of course I got to launch it oh you can oh I'm sorry about that on the side here there was a so when I was over here in the builder right uh there when you see the 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 whole thing let me just resize it a little bit here so we can see a little bit more of this there we go okay so yeah so over here there's a next right there that I was talking about you click on the next takes you to the design which we're not going to touch any of that we did it earlier and then I'm going to go into this then it takes me to settings which I I'm not going to change any defaults either I'm just going to click on next and now I'm going to launch it and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this I'm going to add this to my website so this is going to be the code so I'm actually going to go to my website which I have right here this is my code on my website I'm just going to go into my code where that goes and uh, the header and the header there's the head okay so over here just make it really really simple because I don't want to uh, I'm going to add the code here so I'm just I just got to make sure this is the right code oops there we go okay so now we added the we added the bot code right in here so before uh actually I'm going to comment this out because I want to sh show you what it so now if I go back to here I go back to my page so my page doesn't have the bot on here right so if I go to the about page or the feed there oh look at that I forgot to say I saved it but then I commented out and I forgot to okay so now we have the page here it's just a normal page there's the menus up top there and it says welcome and you don't you don't see a bot or anything so now I'm just going to add this bot code to the page which basically just uncomment this and now if I reload the page now I have a bot on my page right there there's a bot so I can just click on it and it's going to load up this conversation welcome to click eCourse website how can I help you how to create a course how to access a course other question or problem I have another question I just click that and now it's okay before I can I get your name okay it's going to be John Serge Gagnon I'm going to do, do that and now it's got my name and then it would ask me another question or whatever but that's how you add a bot to your to your WordPress site to your regular website if you have your own website that you're coding yourself and it's that simple and now we have a bot now if I go back to um in the, in here there's other things I can do like in the settings for example which I would want to have in here let me just move that back a little bit like this again so in the settings here I actually want to have okay the bot name's fine the custom domain I don't need to worry about uh I want to have I want to know when things happen so if I I want it to open whenever they mouse over it uh and then the other thing is an instant notification so there's email notifications right here I can set it up so that whenever somebody does another question right then I get an email when somebody connects to it I can save that like that I'm not sure if I have to launch it again afterwards I I haven't looked through all the but I always do that anyways uh now when somebody goes to the site and now if I reload this page actually the bots on the side there if I click on it here if I mouse over it it, it shows up right away as soon as they mouse over it 
which it's up to you you set it up the way you want right but like I said so you can go to my conversio my conversiobot.com that's going to be that's actually the link I'm going to put it down below but yeah so that's how you set up a, a, a bot a chat bot on your website isn't that super cool anyways I think it's super cool and I'm so excited to be using this so hopefully if you have any questions reach out let me know and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time